Welcome to another episode of Discover St. Cloud, Florida. I'm Kristen McCary, and I'm here with your host, Janine Corcoran, broker for Corcoran Connect, a real estate company. And uh, we have another business spotlight. Yes. Yes. Who'd you go interview this week? Dave Askew from Askew Jewelers, right in downtown, historic downtown, St. Cloud, Florida, and right on New York Avenue. And yeah, listen, (laughs) everything I have on my hands, on my wrist, everything is from him. Is it really? Not the necklace. Not the necklace. Um, But I just love his shop. I just love um, just having it be so local. And he's such a, yeah, you'll in the video, there's such a, a humble guy, right? Like, like it, it took a bit to get him to to be on the podcast. He just was very hesitant. He's like, "Oh, I'm not," you know. <laughs> and I'm just like, "Oh my gosh," you know. He was happy, love, like show me, show my story. But the person himself, he's just very humble. Yeah, nice, nice guy. Yeah, nice absolutely. Guy. And he did. He designed both of our rings, right? Yeah, my my, my wedding ring. Don't look at it because I haven't been in to get it cleaned. Um, <sighs> but. <laughs> but he took, he actually took, we brought him jewelry, um, uh, Q's mom's, uh, former wedding ring. We took stones from her ring and he melted her gold down for Q's wedding band. And so like, he was Aww. really, he was able to like repurpose things into our, into our, um, set and stay within our budget that we had. And he was really, really cool to work with, like designing something from scratch. So. And he did, um. Um, he made that. Remember, I had um, my former d- diamond from your dad. Yep. Didn't no one wanted it. Right. <laughs> okay. It was a, it was a, uh, about a half a carat. It was good. I right. mean, it's almost full clarity. I mean, it was nice. And um, we ended up, you know, putting it in a turtle as a heart for Lauren. Yep. Um, when she lost um, her boyfriend. Right. You know, way back in 2017, I think it was. Yep. Yeah. But anyway. Um, uh, and I always told her at that time, I said, well, you know, if you ever can't pay your rent, <laughs> <laughs> you know, feel free to melt it down and sell the diamond, you right, know, you do right. whatever. But um, but anyway, that was yeah. special for her. And he did that. And yeah. He did the whole story. So that was nice. Yeah. You know? So that's great. I mean, he's a great local uh, jeweler right downtown, like you said. Uh, so let's check out the interview. So today I'm here with Dave Askew. Dave, thanks so much for joining us. Awesome. This is great. And we really appreciate you uh, taking time to do this. And can believe it or not, I forgot to wear my rings. Oh, I told, what? Yeah, <laughs> I can't believe that. Anyway, it's all good. Um, so let's start with Dave. Um, how long have you been living in St. Cloud, and how long have you had Askew Jewelers? Um, we, I moved to Florida in 88, moved to St. Cloud in 2005. Uh, we opened up the jewelry store in... March of 2009. Wow. Yeah. We always have, I moved in 87. And oh, okay. St. Cloud in 2005. Hmm. And that's like, like family. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, tell us how you got started in the business. Um, uh, uh, long story short, I was uh, um, running the Indianapolis Zoo. I was the director of park operations. And I was up there on a two-year contract, was having another child, and decided um, family was more important. So I became a Mr. Mom and uh, raised my three kids with my wife. And my wife's family owns a jewelry store called Settle Jewelry in Bloomington, Indiana. Mm-hmm. And, of course, I started poking in there. And uh, next thing you know, I'm polishing rings and sizing rings and learning to do different things. And uh, So you became like an apprentice? I, I was an apprentice for three years under Joan Howell, which was a woman bench jeweler, which is very rare. Um, was, um, so I'm just excited to to uh, learn from her, and she she was pretty she was pretty great. So. Oh, that's wonderful. So when when I arrived, you started talking about a special process, and I don't want right. to mess it up. So right. I'm going to let you do you explain it a little bit. I mean, we're a jewelry store. We do sell a lot of jewelry. We I mean, we have a lot of pre made stuff, and we do make um, a lot of our jewelry and custom. Um, custom people, I don't think really understand. So I was trying to uh, show her what that meant. So, if, for example, somebody brings in a stone and they want something special with it, I'll give you an example. One, they brought in a stone and they wanted a cross made. It was their grandmother's stone or a family member stone, and so I designed it in the computer, and we put a bunch of diamonds in there. And, and once they approve that um, design from the computer screen, I'll print a wax and. They'll come back and they'll take a look at the wax. So I, I printed out a wax. This happens to be um, the cross that I, here it is. This is the cross I'll be setting this weekend and it'll be up on Instagram. So. Oh, good, good, good. 
a little plug there. So that's basically that um, cross right there. This wax here will eventually go into the casting process, which is done in the back there. These will go into basically a cylinder like this. This would be its little place that we were going to park it. This kind of gives you an idea of what that would look like in there. There's This is the wax. This one's red. That one's green. They're still waxes. This will go in here inside this cool little cylinder, go into the oven for about five hours, seven hours for bigger projects. And then it'll look like that. And then this gets super hot for that seven, five or seven hours. And then we inject um, gold, platinum, palladium, silver, whatever we want to make inside here. And then when it comes out, it looks like a cool little piece of metal that we cut off, clean up, refinish, and then put on your finger or your That's pendant amazing. or wherever we're trying to do. That's amazing. I don't, um, I don't think there are many jewelers left like you. Other than your normal jewelry store, you walk in and buy what yeah, you want. I love making things, and we used to make them by, I mean, we literally get a chunk of wax, and we would carve it, and I'd spend all day carving this wax, and then something would happen, like I'd knock something off, and you'd start, you'd almost start over. So when the technology changed where I can do computer-aided design and design it, and the person can approve it just from the picture, because mm -hmm. whatever it looks like, it's going to look like that in the That's finished amazing. product. So it's uh, very exciting. Uh, we got a great team here at the store. Cindy Fagan's been with me almost 12 years now, coming up on 12 years. And Caleb is a young apprentice that we have here, mm -hmm. and he's been with me for about three and a half years. And, of course, my wife works here, too. And 32 years together, but about two years here, she was a school teacher for 27 years here in Osceola oh County. So. And Caleb's the one you see on the Instagram post where he's underneath. That used to be you yeah. all the time. Now I see him. Now, yeah. I'm sure you're probably still under there now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I work every. I try to work every day. I, I tend to talk sometimes more than um, working, work. but, you know. Um, what is your best-selling product? Is there a best-selling product? Um, I think that the custom is definitely, people come here um, usually with something unique that they want to set. And you can't buy it from a store. You can't buy it from a catalog. So they'll come here and, and we'll try to come up with something. It doesn't always work. I mean, sometimes I can't do it. or But I, I, I can usually let them know that that's something I want to do or we can do together. Mm -hmm. Um, it's exciting. It's it's not a, a short process. It definitely takes a little bit of time. You got to design it and get it approved, and then um, you know put it together, which takes some time. So that's why I don't. I guess I should do more Instagram, but I, yeah, I, sometimes yeah, I, I forget. It. Yeah, you know, I, I I understand. So um, since you're a resident of St. Cloud, and and people um, that might be watching this that have never been to St. Cloud, what is the one thing? And it could be restaurants beside your store. Um, to, you know, you're coming to St. Cloud, you must do this. You must come to the downtown. We have some of the most unique shops here from um, Lavender Patch, and we have some great restaurants, Loading and Fire, and I just love you. I don't, I don't tend to leave the town too much because I really have most of my needs are in here, and if it's not in the downtown, it's definitely in the outskirts of uh, downtown. And I think people that haven't been here, um, I think they're missing out. I think when the roads get all done, mm -hmm. um, this will be a, a, uh, a place to come. And I love it down here. It's yeah. a beautiful I downtown. Agree. They it's do a great historic. job with the renovations. They are. They are. Doing but I can't succeed without great businesses around me. Mm -hmm. And I think that's super important. Yeah. We try to make sure that we um, go to the restaurants and we uh, shop in the stores and mm -hmm. um but we, I think we have a very unique downtown, and I don't plan on going anywhere. I love this place. Wow. Well, thank you, Dave. I appreciate you. You're welcome. That was a really great interview. It was. I'm glad he finally committed to doing it. Yes, me too. <laughs> <laughs> He'll probably never do that ever again in his life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, exactly. <Dave. laughs> um, and so I ask you, uh, Dave Askew Jewelers is located at 1121 New York Ave, right in downtown St. Cloud. Um, you can find them online. Um, on Facebook, et cetera. Um, and they post a lot of really cool stuff like behind the scenes. Yeah, I love when see. they do clothes when they're working. I love that. Yeah, that, oh, that's that so whole cool. little thing. Listen, I, I haven't seen it yet, but if he gets into time lapses, that, those get me every time. Yeah. <laughs> I get sucked in. I don't know what it what I'm watching half the time, but I get sucked in. I so. love the time lapse too. Yeah. yeah. 
Awesome. Well, thanks so much for joining us on another episode of Discover St. Cloud, Florida. Remember, you can find us wherever you listen to your favorite podcast, or you can check us out on YouTube. Also, feel free to send us an email to discoverstcloud at gmail.com. That's S-T-C-L-O-U-D. Or call us at 1-844-St. Cloud.